Hey everyone, it is Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Just before we get going, if you want to download this resource, you can, along with all the other resources or selected resources from Enterprise uh, DNA TV, uh, all it is is a small investment. Uh, you can access that link down below in the description. Okay, let's get into it for today. Now, what we're showcasing here is a really cool example of how you can use data bars really effectively. Now, I wanted to work out, I wanted to work out what was my percent of sales for a particular region that were attributed to my top salespeople. Now, you could use this in multiple different ways. This is exactly the same technique, but in this case, I wanted to see, well, in any region, how much of our sales over a particular time period are go to a certain amount of salespeople. Now, what, what? why would you use this insight? Well, there's heaps. I mean, there's heaps of reasons why. The biggest one I would say is that, well, if too many, um, too much of your sales was going to uh, a group of people or one person in particular or two people, then that's a bit, that's a bit of risk to your business. And you want to see, well, uh, has that, how has it changed through time? Because it might have started small and then over time, uh, more and more of the business has been going to the same salespeople. And then all of a sudden, if they were poached by a different company, for uh, or uh, for instance, then you would lose all of that revenue, all of that profit. So you have to, I guess, manage it from a, uh, you know, a top-down perspective to make sure that there is a lot less key, key person or key group of people risk uh, within a business. And it's also just interesting saying, well, you know, uh, are there just way better performers in some regions than there is, uh, you know, than there is in others? What we've got in this data set is uh, we have uh, got the bigger regions obviously have more salespeople, so it's far more distributed, but uh, the smaller regions have a lot more uh, weighting towards your, your, your key people, obviously. But... <clears throat> Your data will, will, will tell something different, I'm absolutely sure. This is a very generic uh, data set or example of a data set. But what is seriously cool, right, is we can dive into this information uh, dynamically. And this is what is so cool about the new table features and the data bars that are created. So we can, we can, look, along, we can look along here, we can look along this visualization and we can see, okay, well obviously Florida is our bigger, one of our biggest, uh, biggest sellers. We could actually, we could actually uh, rank this, I believe. We could actually... Uh, we could actually sort by total sales, so even, again, it looks even better. And we can see our top sales down to our bottom sales. But what I've done, what I also done is I've through the data bars, I've actually also uh, tried to have a look. Okay, well, where where are our biggest risks, for example? And I guess uh, you know, Rhode Island, Maryland, New Hampshire. What we can do is we can actually select a particular state. That will deliver us well. How much have we actually made in each of these quarters, or what's our what's our sales in each of these quarters? And then we can also by that by that selection, we can actually also see the sales of all of the salespeople in that region. But check this out. Say for instance, there was a, an outlier. For example, we could actually select the particular, the individual quarter and the number with the with the data, and we could see okay, well there was ten thousand, and seventy percent went to our top three in this case. I've actually set it on top three there. And so you can see that uh, we can actually drill into our salespeople and say, well, how much did they sell? And that's why, and we can see why, why is this 70%? And that's the just seriously amazing thing about how, how far you can actually dive into this information and extract the insight. So you could really identify any outliers here so quickly and then be able to see, okay, why is it? Why is it an outlier? And um, we, we can click into any time frame on any state and then see each individual sales per salesperson and see, well, why is that 28%? What, what is actually made up of that 28%? Well, the top three here is 30% uh, of 192,000. Okay, so let's actually walk through how I created this, all the formulas that you're required to actually create this, because they're not easy formulas, and, and there's, there's a few steps that you have to go through to actually make it work. The biggest one is actually calculating well how much and doing it dynamically how much of our sales is attributed to the top three people that, that, that's a really tough formula so i'll just we'll start from scratch as we do in all the uh different um, demos that i showcase on enterprise dna tv and just a reminder you can actually download this with a small investment you can um, check out the link below uh, to enterprise dna tv resources okay so the biggest thing we need to do, the first, the biggest thing we need to do is actually work out a formula 
which calculates the top sales or the, or the sales of our top three sales people. Now, how I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to use the SumX function. Now, I've got I've already got my total sales here, so I'm not going to recreate that. Uh, but if I create a new measure, I'm going to go top sales people sales. And this, I'm going to show you how you could actually dynamically, um, well, I'm going to tell you how you could dynamically actually uh, compare the top one person versus the top three people as well. Um, we could just use exactly the same formula. Okay, so I'm going to go sum x here. I'm going to go sum x, and I'm going to go down to another line here. And this is a really cool way um, to showcase what you can do with iterating functions as well. Because I'm actually going to put instead of just some generic just t sales table, I'm actually going to put a virtual table in here using top n. Now top n is a seriously cool function, uh, and I'm going to just put three because it asked me for well, what is the what is the ranking or what are the uh, what is the segment of uh, our sales people in this, in this instance that we actually want to say or well, how much of their sales we're calculating. And then I'm going to again jump down to another row and I'm going to go summarize. And summarize asks for a table first, so I'm going to go sales people. And then summarize again is actually creating another virtual table. So we're creating a virtual table within a virtual table here which is, um, you know, seriously, uh, uh, can, you could think it's complex, but it's actually seriously amazing uh, what you can achieve when you start doing these sort of things. And then I'm gonna go salespeople, and then I'm gonna um, go sales amount here. I'm gonna go sales amount, and then just use my sale, my total sales measure. And then to filter the top end, to filter the top end, we then wanna filter the t uh, it by the sales amount here. So this sales amount is actually, we're actually referencing a measure now from this particular column. So this is one really awesome nuance with these virtual tables is that you can actually create a, a virtual column of information and then actually reference it inside another table function to create a filter. So I'm then going to Round that off, and then we've got to put the expression in for some x, and I'm going to put total sales. And then I'm going to go OK. So you could actually calculate this a couple of ways, but I think that this, this way is really efficient, and it, and it does open up in so many different ways that you could actually rank, uh, ca calculate something based on a ranking of something. So in this case, we're calculating the total sales of our top three sales people, and we can then associate that towards any... Uh, of our dimensions in our model. We could put it against our locations, we could put it against our product, uh, we could put it against our dates, etc. And so this is a really reusable uh, reusable pattern or, or, or formula um, that you could implement in a number of different ways. And so I am just gonna push enter. And then now we are getting the top three salespeople. Now, so no matter whatever context we put this in, we're gonna get the sales of the top three salespeople. So it's gonna be a very different result depending on the context that we put it in. Okay, so let's now, uh, now that we've created that, I'm gonna talk through how we how I created these visualizations with this data with these data bars. Seriously awesome new feature in Power BI. I've got an entire video on it if you wanna actually uh, view that as well. So all I did was I went and found the month and year and I made sure that it was a table. Yep, that's exactly what I want. And then I'm gonna go find my location and I'm gonna find the state. And we actually, actually we want a matrix, don't we? So we're gonna put a month and year in the columns and then a state on the rows. And I'm gonna grab my total sales here. So I've created my matrix, and then within uh, the value section here, I can go to conditional formatting data bars, and I can actually create my data bars here. I just realized this has got to be quarters, not, not months. But I'm just going to create my data bars. First of all, I want to change this to quarter and year. Great. Okay, so now we have our quarter and year. We can obviously we can actually sort it by total sales. So we can see very quickly by quarter or how many sales did we actually make um, per state. Okay, so now I wanted to work out what is the percent, what is the percent of sales uh, 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 that go to my top three sales people uh, in regards to all sales. So all I need to do is I'm gonna copy and paste this down to here 
and I'm going to create another measure and I'm going to go percent percent of sales to top salespeople. And all I've got to do is divide because we've got the measures. We don't need to do anything uh, too different to what we've already got or too, too far um, what we've got oh, distinct. I want you to go divide. So I'm going to go top sales people divided by total sales. And then I'm just going to have my alternative result as zero. And the last thing I'm going to do is format. And here we go. I'm just going to drag that in. And now we have our information on um, the percent of total. Okay, so this this in itself, I mean, it's not very insightful unless you actually put some sort of conditional formatting there or the data bars, right? So I'm going to use the data bars. I'm going to uh, I'm going to overlay a light blue here, and now we can see now we can see how um, now now it's clearly obvious, right? It's clearly obvious that, that that's why these data bars are so good. I, I mean, you couldn't actually achieve as good a visualization like this until the data bars existed. I mean, you could you could have gone through and created individual uh, stacked bar charts, right? Um, but I mean, what a pain in the pain pain in the ass that was. That was. Now we can actually now we can actually very quickly create these sort of insights. Um, and then the last thing we wanted to do was we actually just wanted to go our customer name. And then we can put our total sales against that as well. And we might want to rank that uh, actually by total sales. And then if we then select something here, so say we selected this 55%, so Rhode Island, uh, last thing we need to do is just place this filter. We could actually see, okay, well, the top three customers here uh, equals 50% of the total we have here. Now, I mentioned that I, I'm going to show you how you can actually change this really quickly. Well, if you think about it, this is just a pattern, right? Well, say, for instance, we wanted to see the top one customer. And so this would be where you, where you could really identify if you had some serious risk within, um, within a particular region or something. And so I can change that. And then you can see here that uh, based on the sorting we had, it's actually uh, ended up being quite different. So Rhode Island looks like, in this case, that it has a much greater weighting towards the top person. So we can actually see how it is. And we can see how that changes through time. I mean, this is just incredible how quickly you can, by utilizing this new table feature, um, I mean, there is just, my mind is exploding with the opportunities that you have um, at your fingertips to, to really drill into information out. It's seriously amazing. Okay, so we've walked through a few, few steps there. I've shown you the DAX formula. Uh, there is so many applications of this. Uh, it just goes on and on and on, and I, I'm really looking forward to showcasing more in the future for sure. So just a reminder, you can download this resource. It's just a small investment link down below. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching and listening. Uh, if you really like the content, uh, would, would, I always appreciate a like on the video. That'd be seriously awesome. Uh, and if you want fresh content from Enterprise DNA TV every weekday, don't forget to subscribe. Um, there'll be some really good stuff coming up. Okay, want to wish you all the best. Good luck with this technique.